Hi, I'm Hugo. Hi, I'm Jessie, and we do music A-level. Hi right, guys, so first of all, why did you choose to study A-level music? Um, I chose to study A-level music because um, I, grew, I grew up a lot around music, like my granddad was a musician, and music was just like a really strong thing in my family. Like, you know, whenever something was going on, you knew there was going to be music. And especially with where I come from as well, like Afrobeats was such like a big thing. So yeah, music is a big thing in my family. As uh, I'm quite similar as well. My um, my dad, he has like thousands of vinyls. So we used to just sit there like at weekends and listening to music. And um, that's how I kind of got into it. And like, it's just to have the opportunity to learn about it more. Like I just had to, had to jump at it, to be honest. It was amazing. Excellent. So what are the subjects do you study and where are the links between music and those subjects? So um, I study biology, geography and music and obviously there's not like a direct link between music and the rest of them but um, I think the values are quite like universal so it's like I, um, with music there's a lot of like self work to do you've got the performance, composition and then the theory so like, like what you do at school is just the start like you've got to go home and you've got to be driven to practice like do your composition, research the composition. So like I can take that and what I've done and use it for biology and geography, especially with biology, with the amount you've got to know. You've got to, it's the same with music, you've just got to know everything and uh, have ways of learning it. So like, that's helped me a lot throughout and yeah, that's um, I would agree with him on like it's it's discipline. It's got to do with discipline a lot because it disciplines you to have a timetable, have a regulation that you go by so you know that like you're on top of everything. And music does link with um, my subjects because I do music A-level, politics and government and drama because they're all really quite political, uh, a lot, really, really political. So it really helps when I'm going into drama and politics because I can say, oh, I know this artist and what they're focused on politically is something that I can link to either my um, drama coursework, my drama performance, or I can link it to politics and, gov politics and government in the sense that this artist is very political, this is what their political um, issues are. Okay. How is A-level music getting you ready for post-18? Um, like I said before, the discipline, yeah. Uh, it gets me ready because I know that the things that I've learned in music, I can put them into anything. Uh, it's not just about the, you know, being able to look at the music and understanding it, being able to read music but it's all about the the knowledge that you take from it is you can you can take it anywhere basically yeah and um, what's been your most memorable experience so far in oh. music well <laughs> we obviously as the music department we get to do all the shows and like whether there's some kind of event going or not yeah. not so much now with covid, COVID. but we're like we'd always be asked oh we're doing a mass can you come and play some play some stuff and like when you're just all sat in the music department, like you've got like even A level students mixing with year tens and elevens, yeah. all learning the same song. It's just it's so much fun. And like you're and like at lunchtime as you go and like sit in a group and like work on each other's compositions. And like that part is just amazing. Like you get to speak to people. And that is just so much fun. I love it. And what skills do you need to be a really successful A level musician? Skills. Um, it would be, oh, that's a good one. I'd, I'd, I personally ooh. think it's not so much the skills, it's more yeah. the passion. Yeah. You have the to drive. have the raw passion to do yeah. it because, like, you can be sat learning about some classical <laughs> composition and you don't want to be there. You might not like that composition. But, but you know, like, yeah. if you have the passion to learn it and then if you have the passion, you go out there and learn the skills that you need. Yeah. So like the skill, yeah. I don't think it's skills, skills it's more passion and you have to love it to then go and learn those skills. Yeah. Um, what should applicants absolutely know about the course? Um, you need to know that composition is going to be probably one of the hardest things that you're going to do for music A level. And you need to come into that knowing that it's not going to be everybody's thing, but you're going to have to do it. Like, you have to have, like you said, the passion and the drive for you to do it. Because um, right now, for us Year 13s, we're um, going through our compositions and things like that. And I'm finding it extremely difficult. But because I have, you know, the help of Miss Phillips, music teacher, absolutely love her. Because I have her, we're able to go through it and be like, 
this is what we need to do, this is what we need to do, this is what we need to do. So it's one thing that you need to, you do need to come with is the knowledge and understanding that you might not be able to do that thing, but if you continue to pursue it and continue to uh, have that focus and that passion in mind, smash it. How would you best describe A Over Music using these three words? Oh. Passionate. Um, um, rewarding. Oh. Oh, I don't know, like. I would say, like, successful. Yeah, like, successful. yeah, reward, like, yeah. rewarding and yeah. satisfying. Satisfying. Mm -hmm. It's very satisfying. And just any other comments that you want um, any applicants to be aware of? Well, I mean, I, what I, when I started learning it, I took it for GCC and A level, yeah. is that I'll, I'm never not listening to music, like, I'll listening, like, all the time, Constantly. studying. And I feel when you study it, you, um, you, like, appreciate the music so much more. And it's just, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you have, a, you have a greater understanding of what you're listening to a lot more. And because you, if you like, 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 if you like a certain song, like you have that drive to go and look at the song and be like, oh, I really like that bit. And especially when you're performing as well, because you have to really pick a song that you know, like you know, matches your voice, suits your tone. I think, yeah, it's definitely come in. It's more satisfying yeah, listening to really music satisfying, if you learn yeah. about it. Really, really satisfying. Yeah, it is great.